Hello everyone, Professor Money Peak Trading, January 22nd, 2022. We're going to talk about this amazing shipping stock Zine. It's a 2022 Q1 earning previews. And basically it's a zero depth. Uh, 2022 dividends can be high as 45 to 58% uh, annual dividends. A really amazing company. Let's take a look. Uh, just real quick, we're not financial advisors, so please invest on your risks. And we're currently are holding Zim stock and loan the call options. And real quick, if you are interested in our Discord community, make sure to check us out on www.moneypicktrading.com. We're on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Money Peak Trading as well. Make sure to like this video and subscribe on social media to get the latest contents. So basically, our Zim this year target is still $90 and change, even though SPY and QQQ is doing really badly in this traditionally bullish January. Uh, right now, SPY and NAS, uh, is down about 9% so far this year, while NASDAQ uh, the QQQ is the corresponding ETF, it's down about 13%. While the shipping sector and the energy sector are doing really, really well, very green. Uh, right now, uh, Zim is pulling back together with the market on the top, $65. Uh, even though, like this, uh, the YOY is still up 2.4%. So definitely a relatively strength then compared to the whole uh, stock market sector and crypto sector as well. Uh, let's take a look why. So if you this is your first Zim video. Uh, we just want to highlight Zim basically is an Israeli container shipping stock uh, company. And we actually have a previous video to introduce what are the different types of shipping companies and what are their business models. And the link of the video will be on the upper right corner. Uh, but basically they provide uh, shipping space and rent it to um, merchants like Taiwan Semi, Costco, um, Walmart who actually import a lot of shipping call, uh, items from China or any other world, uh, places in the world uh, back to the United States and vice versa, right? So from U.S. to overseas as well. Um, so basically their revenues are mostly from renting out the container shipping uh, space and the, uh, the rates are basically 50% based on the real-time spot rates while the other 50% is based on the long-term contract which is usually signed each April and May next year of each year. And however, Zim is a very asset-like company. Unlike other shipping companies, uh, they actually only own eight ships right now. So most of their ships are actually rented um, from other ship renting companies. So basically, there are some chartering costs. Uh, so that means that they rent uh, the sh uh, their shipping rental costs. So as long as the container shipping uh, uh, rates continue to uh, remain high or continue to uh, charge higher, and the shipping uh, costs um, doesn't go up as quickly as the container shipping rates, you are going to see the Zim going to generate a huge amount of net revenue. And that's what we have seen throughout the, uh, the past uh, 2021. And Zim even pay off all the debts, become a net, zero net debt company. And the 2022, they will just generate so much cash and they will provide a lot of the cash uh, back to the shareholder uh, by the very generous dividend policy and potentially some share buyback this year as well. And that's why we're so bullish on Zim. Uh, basically, the container shipping rates still remain high, even though in this traditionally low season, January and February, uh, which is the Chinese New Year is. Uh, so if you're looking at this Shanghai Containerized Freight Index, we highlight the rate back to 2021. You can see the rate uh, is actually very high compared to 2020. Uh, and most importantly, back to now in 2022 January, you can see that rate high is actually an uh, all-time high. Uh, we can see this rate will uh, start to drop a little bit uh, in the Chinese New Year in February, but should still remain this all-time high in uh, both the 2021 level, around this 4,500 or above. So that's massively bullish, bullish for container shipping companies like Zim. And also based on many other factors, we believe the 2022 first half of the container shipping costs or rates will remain very high. Uh, because one of the news uh, report is like currently there are only 30% of drivers are available in the market. So that means not enough truck drivers to, truck drivers to move um, those uh, containers in the port, causing the port to be congested and make the shipping costs uh, 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 continue to be uh, very, very high. And I had a vacation in December on the way back on the fly. Uh, the, the, the people, the family sit right beside me, uh, runs a truck company in the central California. And they told me pretty much the same. They're really, really shortage of truck drivers, even though they raise the rate, uh, uh, the, the, the salary. Um, so because of that, they believe the shipping costs will be really hard to de decrease because it's just so hard to find drivers. And they don't see the driver situation to improve anytime soon uh, based on their uh, industry domain knowledge and experience. 
Um, and on the other hand, the shipping congestion is very bad right now. The left side is in North America, the right side is in Europe. Uh, you can see North America on the left is at all time high lingering and just now improving, uh, even though L8 and Oakland ports right now are running 24 seven. Right on the Europe side is even worse. Uh, congestions become even worse because truck driver shortage is not only in the US, but also in Europe as well. Um, so back to the same um, business model that we just covered, and also we talk about the shipping container costs will remain high. The second half of 2020 is kind of hard to tell, but we believe based on a lot of uh, shipping company published a white paper at the end of last year, uh, they believe the, the shipping costs in 2022 will remain above the 2021 level. So come back to what does that mean translate into the Zim business model, right? So a lot of long-term contracts for Zim will expire around May, and the negotiations negotiation starts around this time. And if they are able to secure this contract with the clients, um, and the shipping, a uh, lot of rates will be two times, three times higher compared to last year. So if you look at this chart, you can see a lot of contracts were signed uh, back to April or May last year when the, uh, the shipping rates were around 4,500, right? And if the shipping rate right now they can secure around 5,000 or uh, 6,000 or 5,500, uh, that means uh, uh, Zim will generate even more revenues and their margin will improve so much compared to last year, probably two to three times higher. Um, also, if this year the uh, shipping costs will remain that high, right? a lot of spot rates that they signed this year will be a lot higher than last year as well. So we are basically seeing that Zing is going to have a really bullish year, especially they pay out their net debts. Everything they gain is cash on their balance sheet and they are going to provide it uh, to the shareholders. Uh, on the other hand, there's definitely a downside. The shipping rate costs are increasing as well, as we mentioned. Uh, if we look at this Harper Peterson uh, index, you can see the shipping rate costs are actually increasing as well. But however, as long as, again, the container shipping costs or rates are continue to improve or stay high, while the shipping cost is not catching up as fast uh, as it does, then we're going to see Zing going to have a massive um, bullish uh, year in 2022 and maybe toward 2023. Uh, because a lot of uh, clients uh, from Zing, they actually are proposing two to three years long term contracts as long as they are, um, they can, Zing can provide stable container capacity for those clients uh, because those clients are seeing the impact on their business uh, for the shipping costs and also the shipping congestion. They want to make sure they have enough inventory, right? So they can continue to deliver their products to the clients. So they are very well inside this long term contract. A lot of bearish factor for uh, shipping container uh, names like Zing is like, yeah, the rates are very high right now, but what about 2023, 2024? The rate kind of maintain, then your stock price is going to drop. However, if Zing can not just say 50%, maybe secure 20, 30% of the long term contract from one year to two to three years into these high rates, even though the rates started to become normalized or drop in 2023 or 2024, we're, gonna, we're still going to see Zim have massive uh, revenues in the earnings down the road. And that's massively bullish and you know, hold Zim in long term uh, just to get those handsome dividends. And the other very important factor is not only Zim, but also many other uh, container shipping company here, Matson is an example. We'll provide the link down below. They actually raised their 2022 Q1 earnings uh, preview. Um, and basically, let's look at the numbers together. So basically, if we look at Matson, M-A-T-X, which is a ticker name, their um, last quarter 21 Q4 EPS is 6.53. And usually a Q4 number each year is the top of each shipping company. And because all the factors we just described, uh, Matson actually perfumed their earning Q1 EPS is 80.8.7 to 9.1, which is about 20 to 30% higher than the traditional peak in Q4, right? So this is amazing. Uh, so basically, currently, Zim last quarter has 12.16 earning per share. And right now, looking at this number, and um, our current estimate for this uh, 2022 Q1 EPS earning per share is as high as 13 to 14 dollars. So it's really amazing quarter ahead uh, in mid-February. They haven't announced the earning date, but we believe will be a really nice earning reports. And also we mentioned Zim is willing to um, um, uh, provide those uh, cash to the shareholders through dividends. So they actually have a very, very um, uh, generous uh, dividend quarterly policy starting next last quarter. Uh, basically they will provide 25% um, of net incomes as a dividend each quarter. 
So we estimate currently each quarter in 2022, they're going to provide $3 a share. So multiplied by four is around $12 uh, for this throughout this year. Based on uh, the current price at 58.2, that is 20.6% uh, annual dividend guaranteed already. And also they mentioned uh, their board approved as well. They're going to provide 30 to 50% of net income in 2021 to shareholders as a one-time dividend. And that is a massive dividend. Based on this wide range, I know 30 to 50% uh, depends on the board approval. We're estimating 11.14 to 18.57 per share of dividend. Uh, translating to the current stock price, is 24.7 to 37.5% of annual dividends, a one-time dividend. So we add this number together, plus this 20.6% um, quarterly dividends. The total dividend we got this year, based on the current $58.2 share, is as high as 45% to 58% per year. That's ridiculously high, okay? Especially thinking about this company's net debts is zero. That's amazing. I know a lot of uh, feedback I got on the internet is, if the dividend is this high, usually means this company has some problem on their financial uh, statements. But it's not the case for Zim. Zim is just so ridiculously underpriced right now. Um, they have such an amazing balance sheet, no debts, and they provide so much dividends. So that's really, really a value buy right now, at least in my humble opinion. And the one time uh, really big shout of dividends will come out uh, most likely in March or April. Uh, we'll learn more details uh, in the Q1 earnings as well. So very, very uh, exciting, at least in my opinion. Uh, the other bullish sector um, is Zim is actually negotiating with the Israel authority to lower the tax rate. Uh, currently, their corporate tax rate is about 23%. Uh, they're negotiating with the authority to get into the tonnage uh, tax regime, which a lot of uh, Greek shipping company apply uh, to. And if they are able to do that, that will make uh, Zim's um, uh, EPS and the margin massively improve. And there are actually some Norwegian companies negotiating with the Nor Norwegian uh, authority as well. I put a link down below and here so you can take a look and get some reading. However, we're talking about dealing with the government about changing the tax law. So this thing can take over forever. It might not happen this year, it might happen quickly, we just don't know. But keep in mind when it happens, it's gonna be massively bullish for Zim. Um, so yeah, I just wanna highlight, we have a robust long-term investment program, 76 investment last year in 2021. Uh, average return per trade 16.4 with a winning rate 74.67 so if, again if you're interested in our paid disco community a really robust option program focused on swing trading really good performance listen on our website and also have a long-term investment on www.moneypeaktraining.com so make sure to follow us on social media and subscribe uh, our youtube channel and money peak trading thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye